Hey guys, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you a very useful rank function because ranking is something we do it on a daily basis to rank the products, rank the customers and so on and so forth. And this, comp this uh, particular concept is very complex because uh, you try to then first you understand what is rank then you try to do it by different dimensions and sometimes uh, your values are getting duplicated then how to resolve those kind of situations we will see it step by step so first thing is in this video we will see very simply how we can work with ranks all right so for that what i am going to do is uh, let me take the subcategory so i have some more values and uh, let me take sales and uh, sales is sum of sales and uh, what we want is basically the columns and i simply want the metric because i want to show you the rank all right so once i have this um let me get the rank function so to get that i'm coming here clicking on the create calculated field um let me give it a maybe sales rank all right um now we will use the rank function as i say and as you can see we have rank dance we have rank modified percentile unique i will cover rest of the ones but let, let's start with the simple one which is rank and uh, here what you need to do is provide sales but not just the sales since it is an aggregation of the value we need to provide sum of sales all right so that's how this is uh, rank sum of sales and it is saying ascending or descending which is uh, which is an optional parameter because it is surrounded by these brackets but we are good because uh, all that ascending or descending kind of a sorting I can uh, I can do it in the front end but uh, for now with this minimum uh, specification we are good to go ahead so I'll click on apply okay and once I have the sales rank I will just drop it here and here I have the sales rank where first rank is here um, and then second rank is here. So now once you have added the rank, um, it's it's difficult for you to sort it, uh, to go one by one like one is here, two is here. I don't know where is three here is, four it is. So what I can do, I just click over here and here I have the option sort ascending and sort descending. So here I can sort it by ascending so I can clearly see how these numbers are coming together and if I want I can do it on a descending so this way I will see the lowest sales and the higher sales so that's how easy it is um, to add a add a rank and uh, if you have a need let's say you have a category and after that uh, let's say you want to add maybe region for example for each subcategory you want to see it in a region then you can add the region and but you see that uh, your rank will be intact so first is here in the west and uh, and the last is somewhere there i don't know i need to search all right so that's that's basically a quick way of how you can add a rank and in the next videos i will show you how you can further use some of the other rank functions uh, and I'll prepare a small data set out of these uh, subcategory and sales so that you can understand how they are really performing the action. Alright, so that's pretty much it and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.